Oh, blisters, blisters. Actually, I don't have any blisters at the moment, but I've had blisters in the past and they are uncomfortable. And one of the questions I get a lot on the channel is how do you stop getting blisters? So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna spend about two minutes talking about what causes blisters, what are some of the things that we can do to reduce our chances of getting blisters, and then we're gonna go on our way and get training. We're not gonna to waste too much time talking about these horrible, horrible things. Now, what are blisters? Very simple, they're caused by friction, rubbing, as in that motion somehow. Now, there's multiple ways that things can rub in your shoe and cause blisters. You can have either skin on skin, as in your toes rubbing together within your sock. You can have sock on skin, the sock rubbing the skin within the shoe. Or you can have shoe on skin or sock on skin. So a combination of all three. Now, there are lots of things that can cause these blisters and we're gonna run through these real quick now. Number one, if your shoe is too small, your feet reach up into the toe box here and tend to rub on the end, which causes blisters right on the ends of the toes and on the tops of the toes. But on the other side of it, if your shoe is too big, then what you tend to get is hot spots underneath from the foot rubbing or on the sides from the foot moving around too much in the shoe. Also, poor sock choice. If you choose to train in crappy socks, you're probably gonna get crappy little blisters. It is really important that you choose the right footwear and socks in order to train and reduce your risk of blister. Another one is, as I mentioned before, your toes actually rubbing together, causing friction within your sock. And the majority of blisters tend to be caused when there is excess moisture or sweat. When you race, then you increase your effort, which means you increase your perspiration, sweat, more wet in your foot, more rubbing, Blech, disgusting. Let's talk about how we fix them. Number one, probably the most obvious, is get the correct shoe size for you. Now, lots of different brands have different sizes, even though they say that they're the same. So an eight in uh, Asics may be different to an eight in Sorconi. What's best to do is go into a local running shop where the people know their stuff and they'll be able to advise, but you're looking for at least a thumb's width in the toe box there between where your toe ends and the end of the shoe to give it that little bit of movement. Next up, check your trainers. Are they laced all of the way up? There is often an extra hole, an additional hole at the top that is not laced. Now, if you then put the lace through there, it adds an additional level of security and stops your foot moving around. It holds it more in place in the shoe, which is what you want. So keep an eye out for that extra hole. It's not often laced up and that can be a game changer in terms of stopping blisters. Next is invest in some high quality socks. Now these are compressed sport race socks. They're light, they wick away sweat, they're tight and they're comfortable and they have done me really well in every race I've raced in. They're about 20 quid, but perfect for getting the job done in a race. And the ones I'm wearing at the moment are Balega and they're more of my training sock. I train in them, but again, there's no seams that can rub on the sides of your feet and cause you friction or blisters. So absolutely sock choice is extremely important. Mary even wears the socks because Mary gets blisters in between, these are my fingers obviously, but in between her toes, she wears the socks that looks like you're putting a glove on your toes and I think they're Kalenji socks. They can also be a game changer. If you want to stop the friction between your toes, then Vaseline, chamois cream, something that stops the rubbing, stops that friction before it starts. And finally, if you want to go the other way because you feel like your feet sweat too much, then talcum powder in the feet, in the shoes, will dry the feet up a little bit and stop that moisture and therefore friction straight away. Just be warned, this is not an exhaustive list of what causes blisters or what fixes blisters. These are just the most common things that I've seen work, that have worked for me, that have worked for Mary, worked for people I know. There may be other fixes out there, but these are the most common. So if you are suffering from blisters, then some of these might be worth a try, might be worth looking into to make it long-term comfortable. I'm gonna go because I don't wanna talk too long. So you need to get out there and get training. And I'll see you on Thursday with a live Q&A coaches drop-in. Laters.